I made this shroud cover plate to adapt the barrel to. It looks like it's restricting the airflow a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, inch and a half little side plates on it. That way the air won't be restricted as much. Probably going a little overboard, but anything, any little extra. Try to make it a little better. Moving along, I have all the parts cut for the, the second pyramid vent system at the top. There's going to be a copy of that up here. And I have these parts cut also for this other box. So I'll get that welded up tomorrow. And then uh, I'm going to put another sh shell around here. At least an inch, maybe an inch and a half, maybe out to this edge. And so the rods won't just, they'll have like a double wall to keep them stable for one reason. And then I'm gonna fill that with concrete cement. So it becomes basically a, a cement tube. And this will all be covered with cement. It's to seal it also, cause I got holes in here. And don't even look at those welds unless you wanna throw up. <laughs> I haven't welded in years. And I never was a welder, I was a machinist. I just started learning to weld after I retired kind of comical so in case any of you are interested in copying this design I'll give you all the dimensions to show you how I came up with this first of all I started out by measuring this opening it's approximately 15 inches by 15 inches oh, that's a little rough 15 and, a half. <laughs> and then it's about uh, eight and a half inches in height so I dropped it down to 14 and a half to give it some clearance. And I think I went seven and three quarter on the height. I'm not, I can't remember, I'll check that. So that's what I that's where I started my dimensions with. Okay, there's four pieces each. It's actually pretty basic one if you have these numbers. You don't even have to do the math. And you don't need a protractor. Just hold this 90 degrees in the corner here. Ten and a quarter on the long side, and uh, seven and three quarters on the short side, and that just gives you this dimension. I didn't even write that down. All you need to know is these two, and that one will be obvious. <laughs> so this one is the same concept. I mean, same principle, similar. Um, it's fourteen and a half at the base inches, and ten and a half inches at the height and the center line. So once you get those two dimensions established you just put those scribe those lines in and you got your that's that's all there is to it and you just lean them in and make your four-sided pyramid tape it I taped it up you can do it however you want and then uh, welded it up what else was oh yeah so if, if you're curious on how I actually come up with this if you want to take a little more time to do the math and I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this I actually do it with this cheater calculator. I call it a cheater calculator. Construction Master Pro. This is an older model. Um, model 4065. They're about 80 or maybe 100 bucks now. It's kind of pricey for a calculator. I know. Well, I won't go through it all right now. It, it, it's a little bit involved. But it's not too hard to do. I can do it on another video if anybody's interested. 